Hi, Kelly George here. I'm reporting my Lemtrada and multiple sclerosis journey on my YouTube channel. Um, I am sitting in my car outside of Carlsbad Neurology Center in California. I have just had my checkup with my neurologist. So very good news, slightly concerning news as well, but let's go to the really good news first. My health is as good as it can be for a multiple sclerosis sufferer. I recently had a brain and spine MRI. The results are fantastic. Um, there is absolutely no significant changes. Yay! Um, so no significant changes in the brain or spine MRI, which means there's no active lesions, there's nothing buzzing waiting to go off in my brain and affect a part of my body. Um, I am feeling good and healthy and strong effect. And I think um, it's showing on the inside of my brain as well as the outside of my body. So uh, really, really happy, really, really good news. Um, one thing that I'm finding concerning, um, and this is the concerning news, is my monthly bloods and urine results have not been going to my neurologist. This is annoying. I was always under the understanding that if I didn't hear anything every single month when I get my bloods and my urine done that all is fine and they are being looked at but no they are not being looked at by anybody. This is extremely frustrating, annoying. Uh, the reason why I have monthly bloods and urine done is because I've had my Lemtrada treatment done, so if you followed all my vlogs, you'll understand my whole multiple sclerosis background, journey, and story so far. But I had Lemtrada done, and I'm a year post uh, my two-year Lemtrada course, um, where it was quite an invasive treatment, um, and I'm hoping to regrow back some good white blood cells that don't attack my immune system. Um, and the whole point of the monthly bloods and the monthly urine is it's checking for the side effects that Lemtrada can cause. So it's looking for precancerous cells all the time. It's looking for thyroid issues, which could be a potential side effect from Lemtrada. Um, that's what they're looking for. And they're also checking your CD4 count, which is your um, autoimmune and your, your immune levels um, and I need to know whether I could come off a cyclovir because this is a tablet I take twice a month uh, sorry twice a day uh, morning and night and I was waiting for my numbers to go over 200 so when I really started prying today and saying great I'm, we spoke about the brain and spine MRI the results of that wonderful great news and then when I started saying so what were my April bloods he just looked a bit he didn't really know what was going on he said I haven't seen them then he goes and gets someone else cut a long story short a lot of people got involved he's got hardly any paperwork he's only got paperwork from February's bloods just one random pick of the month even though I have them done every single month and we're now in April and I've had them done every single month since my very first ever round of Lemtrada two years ago so it's a concern that he's not getting them and no one's looking and no one's checking them um, obviously if I've been having any kind of side effects if I'd had you know, there, there is stuff that I know that I'm going to look out for once I've had them tried it done. Like if my if I'm showing bruising quite easily, um, if there's a change in the appearance of my tongue and the inside of my mouth, there is certain stuff that I know that I'm aware that I look out for, and I never see any changes, and I know I feel good. So I don't I don't constantly contact the neuro all the time. But yeah, it just it's annoying me and upsetting me, and he was quite furious that he wasn't getting the results but of course he was probably slightly embarrassed because he had no information to give me so he finally while I was in the appointment tracked down this month's ones and my CD4 count which is all to do with my immune system is in the 400s I was waiting for it to get to 200 my last appointment with him six months ago it wasn't in the 200 mark so I couldn't come off a cyclivir and now I can hooray so I don't have any current disability because of my multiple sclerosis and I don't have to now currently take any medication whatsoever. I don't have a daily medication. I've had my Lemtrada infusions. They've been on gone. I'm not on steroid treatment for any relapsing at the moment. I am good to go. I am tip top. So I'm really, really pleased. Uh, one thing I think I'm just going to get on the case with is... Um, I kind of brought it up with him and said, look, I'm getting no information. And when I try and call this neurology centre, for some reason, the past two years, it's gone a bit downhill. I can't communicate with him very well. The, the, I find the staff at the desk not too great. 
So I had a bit of a whinge and a moan to him. So he's advised that I go on the patient uh, portal instead. Um, and that way, if I have any issues, if I wake up and have a shaky hand or if I wake up and have lower back pain, which I had those two issues in the past uh, four, six weeks ago, um, it would contact him straight away instead of going through the reception desk. And he, his very words were, we've got too big now. We've got too busy. I don't understand unfortunately I can't keep abreast on all my patients that was his words he's just said that to me so that is a concern for me whether I choose to now change my neurology uh, center point of contact and neurologist but the problem with that is you've got to get all your results sent over to the new one and meet with them and it's a process isn't it would I rather stick with the one I've got and hope that they get on it a bit more and pay a bit more attention to me um or would I rather just think, no, I'm paying for this service. I need to change neurologists. Anyway, that's a different ball game. That's not actually to do with my current stature and my health. And if you're watching this because you're going through a um, possible diagnosis, you're going through treatment, you're going through a relapse, then you want to know the health side of things. And I am good. So yay, yay, yay. Um, I had a shaky hand recently. That went within 24 hours. and I didn't contact the neuro for that. Um, he asked me about that. I said how long it lasted for. He asked if I had any other, displayed any other symptoms of anything else. And I said, no. Um, he understands that I do get fatigue from time to time. Like at the end of a busy week, I often think, oh, I could just sleep for a week. And I'm really tired. But I do have two young children. Um, and, you know, and I do have multiple sclerosis at the end of the day, even though it doesn't show itself all the time. So fatigue is something I kind of live with. And you just learn to manage and take a couple of rest days when you need them. Um, but yeah, all is good. So it's a great day in California. The sun is, it's actually really hot in my car. I'm having a little sweat on. I'm looking a bit shiny now. Look how beautiful that sky is out there. It's really gorgeous and sunny. So I'm going to call my mum and give her the results. And then I'm going to call my closest best friend here and give her the results. But yay. Um, if you've got multiple sclerosis and you're watching this and you're having a bit of a crappy day, those crappy days don't last forever. There is light at the end of the tunnel and I do believe, I understand my multiple sclerosis is not severe and I understand I don't have to live with pain 24 seven and some of you do. And I know it is also a condition that we do live with. We just learn how to manage it. Um, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is things out there. There is things on offer for us. We are a community. There's other people you can connect with on uh, social media platforms. Um, and we just got to learn how to manage our MS. And when we have a crappy day, that's fine. Go eat a bar of chocolate, you know, go snuggle under a, a duvet and, um, binge watch Netflix. Do what you have to do that makes you feel better. It's okay because it's not going to be like that every day. Um, and hopefully I'm proof of that because I've had my really, really crappy times and I'm feeling really good at the moment. So yay. <laughs>